Yo. What's good? We can't <laughs> fucking see you. I'm in the basement hitting these weights right now, doing some cardio. What's up, Neil? How you keeping, Gerald? What's going on, brother? What's going on? World from under. <laughs> So, Gerald, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. So, were you scheduled to have a fight before this pandemic happened? Yeah, I was supposed to be on the Tyson Fury Wilder undercard, but Demetrius Leader fucked that up. You were meant to be on the card in, in Vegas in February? Correct. Okay. Yeah, correct, correct. And that douchebag, of course, him always sticking his nose in the shit. Messed that up. So, you know, we was looking at May 30th, Lemeshenko on the card. Ah, you know, then the pandemic happened, so we're kind of back to square one again, you know? Why the decision to, to sign with top rank, Gerald? Um, after just talking to everybody and hearing what everybody got to say, um, you know, Bob reached out plenty of times. And it wasn't really Bob himself, it was people on his team. And I wasn't too enthusiastic about it. Plus, you were still talking to Eddie Hearn to some, some, some extent. But um, when I finally got face-to-face -face with Bob, and Bob actually came up with a game plan, like, you know, this is what we know. We know about your situation. We know it's a mistake, da 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 You know, we talked to doctors here and there. And after they even seen my levels, they knew that it wasn't something that I was doing ever, because you can tell by level, so I'm trying to say so. It just made more sense, you know, he had actual, actual game plan and strategy. So I ran with it, you know what I mean? It made sense paper-wise, money-wise, and I was like, fuck it, let's go. And I knew Tyson Fury was going to beat Deontay. It was like 80% of my gut, I'm like, yo, he's going to beat fucking Deontay. Just the way he talks, his demeanor, and it was one of those things, you know? Gerald, is, is the anti Joshua fight still a fight that you want? Hell yeah, of course, man. I gotta, listen, man, you got to put it like this. A lot of people who are afraid of certain things are going to run away from it. I got to redeem myself in the public eye. But I know I'm honest. I'm deep, deep honest in my heart. I know what, I know what happened. I know what went wrong. But once I whoop his ass, all that everybody doing is going to shut the fuck up. Especially Eddie Hearn. I want him to eat his words so bad. You know what I mean? I want to eat his words so bad. So I'm not going to sit here and go blah, 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 blah. 24-7, fuck that. Just put me in the ring. You know what I mean? I passed the test before, I'm going to pass it again. So I'm trying to say, plain and simple, brother. How realistic is it, though? Do you not think that that chance with Joshua could have now gone? Do you think that there will be another opportunity for you to fight him? Oh, most definitely, because you got to think about it. After this Deontay Wilder, Fury third fight is going to happen, we're talking about co main event on that card, right? From the top rank. Boom. Who's Tyson going to fight next? So I'm trying to say, how many, how many bullshit opponents is the UK fans going to take from AJ? And so I'm trying to say, nobody knows about Pulev. Pulev is a good opponent, but it all depends. So I'm trying to say, so, like I said, I ain't going to, I ain't even going to talk too much. Proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the pudding. They, remember, you all going to have bad guys, we're going to have superheroes. You always want to see a superhero go against a good villain. So fuck it, I'll be the villain. <laughs> Are you about to start training now? No, I've been training. Are you been finished training. training? Yeah, I've been training. Just... Are you in Brooklyn? No, no, I'm actually at my on my ranch in Jersey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in Jersey, man. I'm chilling, man. Just get away from the New York crap, man. A lot of shit in New York going on, so a lot of my friends dying out there, man. So it's been rough, you know. I'm trying to help people pay for funerals and shit, man. I'm just it's bad, man. It's bad. But I know I know I got a couple friends and stuff in the UK, man, and I know they're going through it too, you know. Um, seen a couple of comments from Billy Joe Saunders there. Um, Billy Joe Saunders. I don't know. Billy Joe was on here a minute ago, but he's... I don't know if he's still watching or not. Um, all right, well, Gerald, thanks for logging on tonight. Yeah, no doubt, man. I'm doing my cardio. I like, I, I like the needle. I like the needle emoji. That just made me laugh. I like that shit. Juice man, juice man, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's <laughs> listen, man, I'm from Brooklyn, baby. Hey, 
ain't nothing the motherfuckers gonna say to me that can hurt my feelings. Trust me, ain't nothing I've been through what I've been through. That's light work. Believe that. <laughs> Believe that, man. I think Billy Joe's back on. He's calling you fat, Gerald. Ah, oh, fuck Billy Joe saying that and take his girl. Little, little prick motherfucker. He ain't came to Brooklyn before. He's been hiding in you. Anytime you talk shit about fire, he never comes to their neighborhood. Come come to Brooklyn one of these days. I show him around. Oh, wonderful comments here. Um, <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, baby. Big Baby's there. It's bringing the fireworks. Bad or good. They gonna tune in, Cooper. Bad or good. They gonna tune in, brother. <laughs> Daryl, uh, thanks for giving us your time tonight. And uh, yeah, keep yourself safe and we'll speak soon, yeah? All right, Cooper. Say no more, brother. Got you. Take care. Thanks, Daryl Miller.